So just a quick project here. We're going to put up a couple of decorative hooks. You can see a couple that we've got here for the kids to put their backpacks on. And we just want a couple more up top, so we'll take that picture off and put those hooks in. Okay, so for a height on these hooks, um, we just wanted to put, be able to put in another backpack here up top. So we'll just make sure we have enough clearance there and kind of eyeball where that hook should go. Right, kind of about my eye level or a little bit below that. And close will count on this. What we want to make sure of is that we get the two hooks at the same level. So, as I recall from putting up those lower hooks, um, I don't think there's a stud kind of where the, the hooks fit most naturally on the wall. So, you know, there's a couple options for anchoring those, uh, those hooks down into the drywall. You could, of course, just screw, take a screw, screw it through the drywall, but there's going to be actually quite a bit of weight on these hooks, so that could loosen up and there's nothing really to prevent this so this is the part of the screw right between my fingers there that would be going through the drywall there's nothing to really prevent that from just working a bigger hole into the sheetrock and loosening those hooks up so that's not a great option uh, in this case if if they weren't hooks or weren't going to have a lot of weight on them that would be a hook or a nail or a screw right right into the sheetrock would work fine so I I really like to use these type of wall anchors and basically they've got um, there's come into some different styles this one uh, spreads out a little bit as the screw threads in there but basically how they work is they've got a little um, sort of plastic pseudo drill bit at the end so if they work with just um, you can put a nice little pilot hole in there to get that tip just engaged with the sheetrock but they really actually work pretty well just um, putting a Phillips head bit on the end of it and screwing it into the wall and then as, as the this sort of opens up the right size hole for these threads that will um, pretty securely fasten this to the sheetrock and then you can screw your screw into the middle of the plastic portion there so um, that's a really nice option, and it works a lot slicker than the old style toggle bolts, which work really well to anchor um, things to sheetrock as well. They're just uh, a little more complicated to use. You have to drill a little bigger hole to get them started. So what you do here is you drill a pilot hole, and usually it's on the order of about a uh, three quarters of an inch uh, hole, half inch to three quarters depending on the size of your toggle bolt, you fold these in and push this all the way through that hole you've drilled through the through the sheetrock and then when it gets through that hole these spring open and then as you pull back these little sharp edges here catch on the back side of your sheetrock and as you screw the screw in as soon as you get tight, then you've got whatever you're anchoring pressed up against the wallboard, the sheetrock, and the backside is anchored with this. And these work really swell. They're great anchors. Like I said, they're just a little, um, they take a little more time to install than just these that are all self-contained. They drill the hole for you. And the same is true for a little different variation on the toggle bolt. This one, um, again, the sheetrock would be this uh, width here and this one works by um, drilling a hole that's that diameter and it's a little smaller hole usually about a quarter inch depending on the size of this bolt and then you push that all the way through the hole and before you put anything on it before you hang whatever you want to hang you screw this in as tight as it'll go and as this screws in these little flanges here expand and that's what anchors this type of toggle bolt to the the drywall and these are quite nice too but again just a couple extra steps compared to these plastic anchors that that I like to use um, and then once you've got that anchored in you unscrew your screw put it whatever it is you want to hang and then screw the screw back in through that hole there this is another option this is sort of a um, kind of a cheap version 
Um, basically you drill a hole that's the same diameter as the plastic sheathing, you push it in, and it's got some little flanges here that kind of anchor um, to the back side of the sheetrock, and then you screw your screw in there. And those work okay. Um, they do allow for a little bit of wiggle room, so if there's any significant weight, these can expand the size of your original hole and get loose. Um, what I do see um, quite a bit in the houses we've rented and bought over the years is people will use things like this in the sheetrock. And these are really made for uh, masonry. These are these little plastic sheathing here are really made to go into either uh, brick or concrete. And the way these work is you drill a hole that's precisely that diameter of plastic, push this in to the masonry, and then as you screw your screw, into the middle of the plastic sheet there, the screw is bigger than that diameter, that inner diameter of the hole. These expand and just the compression of the plastic against the um, against the concrete keeps these pretty well anchored. And you can see there's some little ribs on there to help give it a little more uh, friction to, so it stays in. And again this is just a little smaller different variation on that but this is also really um, an, uh, a masonry type sh <coughs> sleeve rather than anything you should be putting into drywall. So we'll go ahead and, and mark all our holes and, and get that going. So the way I'm going to mark the horizontal location of these uh, new uh, upper hooks up here is to actually use a level. And I'm going to use the plumb bob, the on my level there. That's the one that is oriented horizontal as an I, and as I turn the level to not plumb, you can see that bubble moves off from in between those two lines. As that bubble floats in between those two lines, that is now plumb, and as long as my wall over here is plumb, that's going to look very nice and symmetric as compared to the, you can hear the family in the background there, as compared to the lower hook. The other way you could do this is just measure from that wall to the edge of that hook down there and as you come up measure from that wall to the edge of the hook there that will also put the hook in the same uh, vertical uh, line on the wall and then you could do the same from that door jam over there for measuring for that hook. But I think the level is a nice, quick, easy way to do that. It lets me mark it. But I'll need both hands to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. So here all I've done is I've marked two holes where the, the screw holes go for that hook. And I've actually went ahead and put one screw in the wall here. And that's actually a handy little trick uh, that I've learned um, since using these uh, little plastic screw and anchors. It's really a... a a neat idea to just screw, mark your hole wherever it's going to go, put the screw that you're going to use in. And that does two things for you. It does make a nice little pilot hole um, to get that tip of that plastic anchor started. And the other thing it does is if you do happen to be on a stud and you try to put that plastic anchor in, it's going to make a big hole here and not go in because the plastic's not going to drill through that, that stud behind the drywall. So if you put in the screw first, and you have a stud back there, then you don't need the plastic wall anchor and you can just take the screw out, mount whatever you're going to mount, and then put the screw back in and you'll be in the stud and it'll be nice and secure. The other thing I was noticing is that as I marked these two holes, when I was measuring for plumb, I wasn't measuring for level and I was just kind of eyeballing it, but as I got the hook away, I noticed that I'd marked those two holes with the hook a little, a little bit askew there. So before I drill that second hole there, whoops, in that pencil mark right there, I want to take my torpedo level and I want to check it for level there. And what I did was I marked that hole a little too high. So if I uh, had put it where I originally marked it, it would have been more like that and the hook would have gone off at an angle. And I want the hook to be nice straight up and down. So I will. Um, just eyeball how much I need to drop down from my original mark when this is level with the other screw and we'll just drop it down there put the other screw in as a pilot hole uh, for our wall anchor take both the screws out and put those wall anchors in 
So there I've gone ahead and put that second screw in. You can see a little mark above it where the uh, drill slipped off at one point. But I just wanted to show you this. If you do just screw a screw into drywall, you can see how much play you get in there. And over time, if you've got weights, especially on a hook coming on and off, that is just going to open up that hole eventually, and whatever you've mounted on your wall is going to get pretty loose. So if you do have, uh, but for a picture that was just hanging there, that would hang <clears throat> for years and years and not cause you any problem. But for a hook, you really do want a nice wall anchor in there. And there wasn't a stud behind either one of those, so we'll go ahead and pull those screws out and we'll put the plastic wall anchors in. So there's one of the wall anchors. I just want to show you if I can with one hand here how easily those go in. So I've, mount, I've registered in my little pilot hole there. And so there the little end of the plastic has drilled the hole big enough for those threads. That's the clutch on the drill driver, so it only puts it into a certain pressure and then stops trying to turn it. And there you can see there's two different kinds there. Um, I've got a collection of them over the years, then you can reuse these too. So if you decide to pull that out, you can just uh, unscrew it, and then most of them will stay pretty intact and you can use them again. We'll go ahead and uh, mount that first hook then.